In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can connect ProtoTwin to an Omron NJ or NX series PLC using the Ethernet IP protocol for virtual commissioning or controls testing. The machine we'll be controlling is a simple pallet layer former. There are three inputs, consisting of three sensors and two outputs, used to control the conveyor motor and pusher. Let's get started. We begin by creating a new project in Omron Sysmac Studio. Make sure to select the correct device and version for the PLC you're connecting to. Okay, we can immediately start creating the program, which is gonna be really simple. We switch on the conveyor motor whenever the in-sensor or out-sensor are blocked. This creates a slug of boxes, which then travels to the end stop, blocking the in-sensor. We actuate the pusher as soon as the end sensor is blocked, but we use a timer off delay to wait for one second after the end sensor has been cleared before retracting the pusher. I'm going to quickly enter names for all the variables. This will create the variables in the local scope of the program. I'll also set the time for the timer off delay to one second. The Omron NJ and NX series controllers only allow reading and writing of global variables when using the Ethernet IP protocol. So, Expand the variables pane, select all the variables we created, and then right click to change them into global variables. All right, if we head over to the global variables table, we can see all our variables. We just need to set the network publish property for each variable so that they can be read or written using Ethernet IP. Select input for the sensors and output for the conveyor motor and pusher. Next, we need to head over to the Ethernet IP settings and enter the static IP address for the controller. Okay, we're now going to connect Omron Sysmac Studio to the controller. Select controller and then communication setup. Configure how you'll be connecting to the controller. In my case, I'm connecting via a hub or a switch. Enter the IP address for the controller and then test the connection. We can now go online with the controller. Select controller from the toolbar and then online from the dropdown. Finally, we can transfer the project to the PLC. This may take a few seconds to complete. Be sure to switch the controller back to run mode once the download has completed. All right, the program is now running on the controller. Let's switch over to ProtoTwin so that we can set up the connection to the PLC using the Ethernet IP protocol. The CAD for this model was created in Onshape and imported directly into ProtoTwin. I've already added components to the various parts of the model. If I switch to the script editor, you'll see that there are no scripts. The machine will be controlled entirely by the PLC. Okay, open the I.O. browser and click the button to add a new tag server. Switch to the Discovery tab and select the appropriate PLC on your network. Review the configuration and click Save. Select the server that was just added. You can test the connection and then click the button to import all the tags directly from the PLC. We'll now bind the tags to the appropriate signals in the model. Hold the control key and click the button to the left of each tag to quickly create the bindings. Switch to the bindings tab and configure all the bindings that we just created. We do this by selecting the signal that is to be bound to each tag. You specify the signals by first selecting an entity, then a component attached to that entity, and finally, a property of that component. Note that entities are highlighted in the viewport as we hover over them. You can use this to easily identify the correct entity. Okay, we're done. When you run the model, ProtoTwin will automatically connect to the controller. You can monitor the values of all the bound tags in the I.O. browser. Data is exchanged with the PLC according to the scan rate, which can be changed at any time by editing the server configuration. We use a 50 millisecond scan rate by default, but you can set this as low as zero which will cause the tags to be read and written as quickly as possible. ProtoTwin can achieve latencies as low as 1 to 2 milliseconds, depending on the capabilities of the PLC and the protocol. Visit prototwin.com to get started today. Thanks for watching.